week's big problem. Uh, <laughs> where do I start? This whole journey has been riddled with challenges, be they technological, regulatory, financial. We're building something that no one's ever done before. And in my experience, the world tends to try to reject that. So when you are bringing something that is so different, so radically new, you not only encounter that existing pushback, but to an to a even further extreme. The Mark IV is our first crewed racing vehicle. It looks like a hybrid between a racing Formula One car and a fighter jet. The powertrain is gonna be probably 10 times as powerful as the current powertrain. The, the battery is gonna be much huger. So the biggest differences from the Mach 3C to the Mach 4 are really the weight of it, the fact that we also need so much more power. It's really gonna be a beast in comparison. And then all the safety structures around for the pilot. Something happened then. We're going to have to crash a bunch of these things because you really do push the limits of technology. You can find out where the failures are going to be faster than if you're just doing test flights slowly and slowly and you end up releasing something onto the market that hasn't been fully tested. The safety cell around our vehicle is really new because planes aren't made to crash, vehicles are, but vehicles are not meant to fly. So having to build a structure that is meant to crash and save and protect the passengers, but at the same time, it has to race, that's something super new and it has to fly, very new. Everything we've done is incorporated around ensuring that the pilot is safe. And that means that we have multiple points of redundancy on the vehicle. It's an octocopter, so there's eight different motors. If one fails, it can land and come in for a pit stop if it needs to. We don't race too high. We're only a couple of meters off the ground. Great for the sport and the perspective, but also ensures that the pilot's safe. But most importantly, is the technology that enables vehicles to bump, digitally bump, not physically touch. Think of it like a force field, so that if vehicle A comes in, it will tell vehicle B to get out of the way. And this is the kind of technology that will underpin the cities of the future. So Intel has joined as our intelligence partner. And that means Intel's technology is actually woven throughout the whole sport. Starting with the vehicles, they use Intel processors in the vehicles, not only to control, but also to communicate with each other. We've also used Intel technology in the infrastructure so that the vehicles can communicate to each other and to the engineering stacks, as well as the augmented reality sky tracks. My aspiration for Airspeeder is I want everybody to have seen a flying car race. I want it to be a household product. I want the faces, the pilots to be recognisable. I want people to know this is real and that it's possible and that it's going to change the way we, we move.